Uh, transfers. Uh. Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well, uh, self-isolating, washing your hands, staying safe, and hopefully staying sane. What's bobbing? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about a player who's gonna probably maybe possibly be available that's kind of not really fulfilled his potential in the last year or so and it's another high profile player that could be slightly less than he was and maybe Chelsea should consider this kind of player he has been linked of late this last 24 to sort of 48 hours potentially a player that was a favorite of mine who nearly went to Manchester United who went to Barcelona in an attempt to replace Neymar. Yes, it's the French World Cup winner Antoine Griezmann. Griezmann? Griezmann. That geezer. Available for less than 100 million, apparently, less than what Barcelona recently spent on him. B Barcelona, right? Just quickly, they've spent so much money since Neymar went, and nothing's really gone right for them. I mean, most notably, like De Jong, Griezmann, Dembele. Am I missing another attacker? I could be missing another attacker, but they spent so much of this money and nothing's really replaced the offensive output of Neymar. So it's all got a bit weird for them. But I mean, you could argue nothing's really gone right for Real Madrid either. Anyway, I want to talk about Griezmann in this video, give you some of the numbers that he has produced. People forget just how good Antoine Griezmann really is was is maybe still is and talk about would he fit at chelsea would it be a smart move before we do get into this content i want to remind you guys to subscribe to football therapy if you've not yet done so because i'm doing videos every day to help you there yes you sitting there through this difficult time of self-isolation and concern really no football's on but i can offer you football content so make sure you subscribe and follow me on the socials at football yannick all right let's Get into it. All right then, Antoine Griezmann, 29 years old. Here's his player profile uh, graphic thingy from Transfer Marks, showing you what one. As you can see, this season at Barcelona, he's not done too well. He's also getting on a bit. 29 years old, not <laughs> about to enter his 30s. So off the bat, that's a huge red flag for Chelsea. They don't like old players but I mean maybe he could be an exception he's yeah you could probably see on the transfer marks graphic as well his value has decreased since going to Barcelona this is exactly the same sort of thing that's happened to Griezmann as what's happened to Jovic if you watched yesterday's video and if you haven't watched it I'd urge you to go and watch it transfer marks also dictates that Jovic's value dropped off quite a lot since moving to Real Madrid and not having the best of times this is a similar thing that's happened to Antoine Griezmann. Obviously, he was an absolute beast at Atletico Madrid. We're going to talk about his numbers there in a moment. And remember, what is a predominantly defensive team? Very hard working, yet can smash out very high offensive numbers. We'll get to that. Won the World Cup with France, was a huge player for them in that campaign, that tournament. Got his move to Barcelona, which, by the way, was after him signing a new contract at Atletico Madrid. He, he even filmed a little video about it, which was weird. I don't know if you've seen that. I don't want to get into that now. But there was this huge thing. Is he going to leave to Manchester United? Is he going to stay in Madrid? He was doing interviews saying, I'm 60% going to Manchester United. Whether he was trying to like wind up the media or not, I don't know, but that's a weird thing to do. Anyway, I mean, I don't think he's a particularly like troublemaking character, but it all seems a bit peculiar, doesn't it? Anyway, he did his little video, he stayed at Madrid, and then he just went to Barcelona anyway. I think he did want to move to Barcelona for a long time, probably much more than Manchester United, and he got said move. Now, it took him a little while to settle in with the Catalan gang. Apparently, there was some animosity between him and Messi. Maybe Messi didn't even want him, and we all know Messi really wanted Neymar to be purchased back by the club. Uh, they've got Griezmann. Uh, the chemistry didn't look like it was there in the... Um, I was about to say the Bernabeu, the Camp Nou for a while, but he has settled in a little bit. Um, as you probably saw on the graphic before, he scored eight goals and got four assists in 24 games. So it's a goal involvement every other game, which can be, which is okay, really. I mean, it's not like prime 
Griezmann was pumping out nearly double that. But it was all right. But when you're playing for Barcelona, you really want to be getting the best out of the best, really. Do you know what I mean? Even though the chemistry between Messi and Griezmann has fired up now, apparently it's been reported that Antoine Griezmann is for sale and he could be going to Manchester United, Chelsea. They've put Arsenal in there. Why have they put Arsenal in there? They're going to be playing paying Pepe off forever. They're not going to be in the Champions League. Where is this money coming from? Maybe if they make a bunch of money from selling Aubameyang, who knows? But for me, Arsenal is a very strange one. Maybe if they were still a top four club and Wenger was still there, but they didn't really even spend that much money then. Anyway, I digress. So, Chelsea Griezmann. Should Chelsea be interested? Obviously, the big question is, is the replacing the Eden Hazard hole in the team? A bit more of a senior slash Galactico level attacker slotting in. People want Jaden Sancho, obviously, but he's very young. Risks come with that. Some people still argue that when Pedro, Giroud, and Willian leave the front line, you will need a bit of seniority in that front line. Gresman being 29 years old could bring said seniority. Now, I want to talk about his numbers quickly in his pomp, which is only a year ago, two years ago, so you know what he's capable relatively of late. So let's preface this with he's playing under Diego Simeone where he has to work incredibly hard, so so hard, running all over the gaff defensive work, the kind of attitude work rate that would really work well in the Premier League. But the numbers in that defensive Atletico Madrid team he was posting were superb. So in the 2017-18 season, across La Liga and in Europe, Antoine Griezmann scored 25 goals. He's not all about goals, though. Remember, he was playing wide most of the time or as a sort of second shadow striker. With those 25 goals, he also registered 11 assists. So, that's an amazing return. That's 36 goal involvements in 37 appearances. That's basically a goal involvement per appearance, which obviously is amazing. Like I said, at Barcelona at the moment, in what's supposed to be a much more attacking team, he's outputting half of that. So something's not as good as it used to be. But you might be like, yeah, and that's over a season ago. What's he done last season? Last season, when Atletico again weren't their best and still playing defensively, he was still posting great numbers. Across Europe and in La Liga last season, he still scored 19 goals and again registered 11 assists. Still 30 goal involvements for a player that isn't like a poacher and or an out and out striker. This is a guy who sort of really, really works hard for the team, presses, does defensive work, covers space, gets on the end of chances, he's not greedy, he's getting a lot of assists. So this is pretty darn good, man. We forget, you know, how special Antoine Griezmann is in terms of his offensive output, but he's not just like a player that floats around and scores goals and gets assists. He works really, really hard, and he's a game changer. Much like Eden Hazard, you know, he's one of these people to step up when the game needs to be changed. He did that in the World Cup at times for France before winning the World Cup. And indeed, he was the shining beacon for us Let's Go Madrid for so many years. Kind of like how Eden Hazard was for Chelsea for many years. Similar kind of representation of character within a team. Obviously, he doesn't have that at Barcelona. Maybe that's a problem. But maybe if he can be this slightly senior figure around a bunch of talented youth products in Chelsea, the Eden Hazard-shaped void could potentially be filled. And even if it's just for like three years, 29 to 31 or 32, could happen, could work, right? Maybe, I don't know, maybe. So let me give you my opinion on this situation. For all the reasons I've just explained to you, I think he'd be really good at Chelsea. I think he could deal with the speed and the physicality of the Premier League. I think Frank Lampard would absolutely love his work rate because he's been conditioned by Simeone. So Lampard, who likes his running, he likes heavy work rate, he'd be like, yes please, I'll have a bit of that. Knowing also he can be incredibly talented, he can do the combinations with the attacking Chelsea forwards, he can hit a free kick, he can score goals, he can do a Frank Lampard and get on the end of balls in the six yard box. He can score long range goals. All of that sounds really good. Do I think Chelsea Football Club should buy or try to buy Antoine Griezmann? Probably not. Not because he's 29. For the reasons I said, I think there would be a benefit of having some seniority in the front line. But it's because he's going to be over 90 million. Now, I wouldn't expect him to be less. 
Barcelona have just bought him for like 110 million or something like that. So I get it. I get why they're selling him for like that amount of money. It's not a critique of how much he costs, but me saying no is just a symptom of how much he costs. Regardless to me, it's really kind of like a weird space to be in because I do think he'd be good for Chelsea. I understand why he's that much, but it's still, I don't think they should purchase him. Obviously, he'd still be like 30 million pounds cheaper than Jaden Sancho, and some could argue that it will be less of a risk than Jaden Sancho in many ways, but in terms of an asset value depreciating, it would be ludicrous, and Chelsea like making smart financial purchases. So, with that, I'm not sure I'm gonna say no. But be honest with yourself, man. Whatever, whoever you are, if you're a Chelsea, I mean, if you, you have to be a Chelsea fan for this exercise, you'll be like, yeah, it's too much money. When you see Antoine Griezmann, walk onto the pitch at Stamford Bridge wearing the Chelsea blue shirt. You're gonna think, even if you're, you know, against the idea, you're gonna suddenly think, oh, this could be fun. See what I mean? Anyway, it's interesting. I wanna get your thoughts and opinions on this theoretical thought experiment, Antoine Griezmann to Chelsea. Is he the kind of player you'd like to see in Chelsea Blue? Express yourself down in the comment section below. I want to hear that. And if you've enjoyed the content today, guys, please do like the video. That supports me a lot. Come follow me on Instagram, at Football Yannick, to hang out with me on the lives. Swing by the channel every single day as I'm uploading, so you lot enjoy the football. That's not happening. And I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.